Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell about rational numbers and their decimal expansions. We know that a number which is of the form p by q, where p and q are co-primes and q is not equal to 0 is called a rational number. For example, 7 by 9, 2 by 11, 3 by 10, etc. These type of numbers are called rational numbers. Next we know that decimal expansion of rational numbers are either terminating or non-terminating recurring or repeating decimal expansion. For example, 2 by 5 is equal to 0 0.4, 3 by 8 is equal to 0 0.375 and 12 by 125 is equal to 0 0.096. So these numbers will have the terminating decimal expansion. And if you see these numbers, 1 by 3 is equal to 0 0.333 etc. So here this number is... Uh, not terminating and it is repeating 3 is repeating here and uh, here 3 by 11 is equal to 0 0.272727 etc this we can write as 0 0.27 bar so here this is also not terminating and uh, the 27 are repeating and next one 1 by 7 is equal to 0 0.142857 etc here this number is repeating and uh, it is not terminating so these numbers are not will have non terminating uh, recurring or repeating decimal expansions First, we will learn about terminating decimal expansion of rational numbers. For example, if you take these numbers 0 0.55, we can write as 55 by 100. And uh, this you can prime factorize 55 5 into 11 by 100 uh, is 10 squared. So, 10 is 2 into 5. 10 you can write as 2 into 5. So, 10 squared that is 2 into 5 whole square. So, that is equal to 5 into 11 by 2 square into 5 square that is equal to if you cancel 5, 5, then 11 by 2 square into 5. So, this is in the form of uh, P by Q. So, here Q is of the form 2 square into 5. And next one 0 0.375. This is also you can write as 375 by 1000. That is equal to 3 into 5 cube by here 1000 is 10 cube. So, 2 into 5 whole cube. So, that is uh, 3 by 2 cube into 5 to the power of 0. And next one is 0 0.104. You can write as 13 by to the 2 to the power of 0 into 5 cube so if you observe all these numbers here the denominator q is of the form 2 square into 5 here 2 cube into 5 to the power of 0 and here 2 to the power of 0 into 5 cube so all are in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m now you can say that let x be a rational number for example if you take 0.55 this is a rational number whose decimal expansion terminates we know that this the decimal expansion of this number terminates then x can be expressed in the form of p by q so if you express x as p by q that means 55 by 100 where p and q are co-prime numbers but here 55 and 100 are not co-prime numbers so you have to cancel the common factors in the denominator and in numerator then you will get this is the p by q form so here p and q are co-prime numbers and the prime factorization of q is of the form so here the prime factorization of q means that is the denominator of p by q is of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m so see here all the denominators are in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m where n, m are non-negative integers. Now, we have to check if the rational number is in the form of p by q, where p, q are co-prime numbers and q is not equal to 0, then the rational number has a terminating decimal expansion or not. For that, we have to check whether the q is in the form of, q means the denominator is in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m. So, if the rational number is 3 by 20, then uh, prime factor is uh, the numerator and denominators, then 3 by 2 into 2 into 5. So, this is in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m. So, this is, uh, this rational number has a terminating decimal expansion. If you want to convert this rational number into uh, decimal number, then you have to convert the denominator in, uh, into um, 10 multiples. For that, you have to multiply uh, 5 in the denominator and uh, the same 5 in the numerator also. Then 3 into 5 is 15 by here there are 2 2s and 2 5s. So 2 into 5 whole square that is equal to 15 by 10 square. 2 into 5 is 10 square. So 15 by 100 that is 0 0.15. So this is uh, this rational number 3 by 20 has a terminating decimal expansion. Next one is 7 by 125. So 7 by 5 into 5 into 5. 
so this is in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m you can write 2 to the power of 0 here so this is uh, this uh, rational number has a terminating decimal expansion now you have to convert this uh, fraction form into decimal form then you have to multiply with three twos in denominator and uh, in numerator also then 7 into 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 7 into 8 by here there are two twos uh, three twos and three fives so 2 into 5 whole cube that is equal to 56 by 10 cube that is equal to 56 by 1000 that is equal to 0 0.056 so this is uh, this rational number has the terminating decimal expansion this is another example 21 by 30 this is equal to oh, 3 into 7 by 2 into 3 into 5 then cancel 3 3 here then 7 by 2 into 5 so this is in the form of 2 to the, the denominator is in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m so this rational number has a terminating decimal expansion now convert into decimal form 7 by 10 is equal to 0 0.7 so if x be a rational number which is in the form of p by q then if prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m for example like this then x has a decimal expansion which terminates now let us see how the denominator in non-terminating recurring or repeating rational numbers for example if you see this example 1 by 3 is equal to 0 0.333 etc that is equal to 0 0.3 bar so here uh, this is a rational number here 3 is not in the form of this is denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m and this is a non-terminating recurring or repeating rational number next one is 77 by 210 this you can write the prime, prime factorize like this 7 into 11 by 3 into 7 into 2 into 5 then cancel 7 7 that is equal to 11 by 2 into 3 into 5 that is equal to 11 by 30 that is equal to 0 0.36 bar so this is also non-terminating recurring or repeating rational number and if you see the denominator here uh, there is 3 and 2 and 5 factors are there and 3 is also there so it is not in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m next one is 1 by 9 that is equal to 1 by 3 square that is equal to 0 0.111 etc that is 0 0.1 bar so here also the denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m now we can say that let x is equal to p by q where p and q are co primes be a rational number so here x is a rational number which is in the form of p by q such that the prime factorization of q is not of the form 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m where n m are non-negative integers so if x is equal to p by q this is non-terminating recurring or repeating rational number for these uh, rational numbers the denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m now i am going to tell how to check whether the given rational number will have terminating or non-terminating decimal expansion if the rational number denominator is in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m then we can say that that rational number will have terminating decimal expansion if the denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m then that rational number will have non-terminating decimal expansion for example c 69 by 300 then prime factorize numerator and denominator to check the common factors so 69 you can write as 3 into 23 by 3 into here 300 you can write as 3 into 100 100 again 10 square so 10 again 2 into 5 whole square so 3 into 2 into 5 whole square then cancel 3 3 here then 23 by 2 square into 5 square so here uh, this rational number the denominator is in the form of 2, 2 to the power of n into 5 to the power of m therefore 69 by 300 will have terminating decimal expansion you can go through with these steps and he, if you don't get any two, two factors or five factors in the denominator then you can write uh, 2 to the power of 0 or 5 to the power of 0 in the denominator now please do this practice worksheet and uh, here are the answers 